Well, I guess this is where I say a few words. <sighs> R.I.P. Instagram account. R.I.P. Hey guys, so spring has finally arrived around here, which apparently means it's now monsoon season because it hasn't stopped raining for the past couple of weeks. Because of this, along with ever-changing social distancing recommendations, I haven't been able to get out and shoot much, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've beat a couple of video games, planted a garden, as well as had some time to think about where I see myself heading creatively specifically with my love-hate relationship with Instagram. So let me give you a little background into what the hell I'm talking about. Roughly two years ago, I had a friend give me an old DSLR camera. I really had no idea how to use it, so I just started playing around with it, watching YouTube videos, reading David Hobby's blog, The Strobist, which is all about off-camera flash. It's fantastic and also taking really painfully bad pictures of myself and my two cats, all in an effort to try and make sense of what I could do with this new creative tool. That's where Instagram came in. To be honest, I was probably one of the last people on the planet to have an Instagram account. Instagram wasn't even on my radar. I wanted nothing to do with it. However, I reluctantly created an account one afternoon and started scrolling through thousands of images, which contained really gorgeous photography. I quickly became inspired by people like Sean Archer and his fantastic portraiture lighting, Rosie Hardy's unique compositing techniques and creative visions, as well as Mad Fluffs. Their cats are adorable. And the rest is history. I began taking portraits of myself out of necessity because I had no one else who was willing to sit there while I tried to stumble through some new lighting setup I read about or some Photoshop trick I wanted to try. So it just went on and on and on, learning this and doing that. And here we are, two years later, I find myself setting up the same light in the same alcoves of my house with the same end image. And one day it just kind of clicked. I'm not learning anything anymore. Now, I'm definitely not saying that I've mastered photography. I clearly have not. <laughs> I'm just saying in this environment, with these tools, I've kind of become complacent with my images and almost like robotic Alert. and stale. Alert. And honestly, Alert. I think I'm just kind of tired of taking pictures of myself. Couple that with the fake bot accounts, the relentless scammers, as well as wanting to challenge myself creatively, that's where video changed it all. I came across Jesse Driftwood's account. If you don't know who he is, look him up, he's lovely. But he was putting out these elaborate and fun stories, which made me think, well, I could probably do that and have a lot of fun with it. Instagram stories really got me out of my comfort zone. One of my first stories was about me getting my hair cut. I remember looking up how to accomplish in-camera transitions, and I remember being so excited to try and apply a new skill. After that, I started wanting to make more stories and IGTV videos, like building a garden cart or flying a drone for the first time. All of these were challenging in their own ways. However, nothing was creatively satisfying or a bigger eye-opener that it was time to do something different than the creation of the gaming short. That's what really sealed the deal for me. Video is hard. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time and that's kind of the allure of it. It's always a challenge. It's like a never ending puzzle and it's constantly a battle to adapt and problem solve. And that's the reason why I love it. I guess you could say that's also why I'm sitting here right now, doing this, posting nonsense every week. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I should clarify. Saying goodbye to Instagram doesn't necessarily mean I'm tossing it out the window. It just means that for the moment, I'm going to take a break. I want to focus on other things. I want to learn stuff. I also want to see green screen boots destroy the city Godzilla style. I want to make animations of vegetables. I just want to create. 
For two years, I documented my life through photos and more importantly, the captions. It was almost like having a diary of my life, all of the good and bad neatly tucked into a single post. So with that, I'm grateful for what I've been taught, will miss what has been normal, but very excited for what's to come. Until next time, I'm Chris. See you, Instagram.